Smarty Pants, as you can hear, I'm at the beach. I've got my sunscreen, SPF 100, my flippers, my rubber ducky inner tube, my sunglasses, goggles, and snorkel. I can't wait to go swimming. There's just one thing giving me pause. No, not sharks. The weather. It's getting pretty dark for the middle of the day. And where is everybody? I'm the only one on the beach. Oh, wait, there's someone up ahead. Are they holding a microphone? This is Chet Nickerson reporting live from the beach, where a lone bystander in a rubber ducky inner tube is about to brave the rough ocean waters. Hey, are you talking about me? Normally, the beach would be packed with swimmers and sunbathers, but they've all stayed away due to the nasty hurricane that's set to make landfall any minute. Did you say hurricane? Here? Now? That's right! Any minute, Hurricane Smarty Pants will pummel this beach with high winds, heavy rains, and intrepid reporters. Reporters? Sure. Wherever there's a storm, you'll find a weather reporter in a windbreaker standing in it. We love showing how fierce the winds are blowing and how hard the rain is falling. Of course, you folks at home should seek shelter. The only ones who should be outside right now are professionals, like myself. Not crazies like this guy wearing goggles and flippers. Hey, I'm not crazy. Well, if you knew anything about hurricanes, you wouldn't be here. Actually, I didn't know one was coming. But since I am here, maybe we can learn more about these storms. How do hurricanes form? How powerful are they? What do storm categories mean? And what should you do when a hurricane strikes? Don't go snorkeling, that's for sure. It's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up! Everyone, we make smarting lots of fun on Who Smarted? Okay, smarty pants, looks like I won't be swimming today. The beach is the last place you want to be when a hurricane strikes, and that's because it's where it hits the hardest. Ah. Hurricanes are a type of ocean storm called a tropical cyclone, and they are one of the most powerful storms on the planet. Tropical cyclones have been known to strike all over the world. In the Northwest Pacific Ocean, these storms are called typhoons, while people near the South Pacific and Indian Ocean might refer to it as a cyclone. Hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones are all the exact same type of storm, just with different names. And while these storms strike all over, do you know what country is hit the most? Did you guess the United States? Well, you're right! Hurricane season in the USA is between June 1st and November 30th. And there's one state that experiences the most hurricane strikes. Is it A, California, by the Pacific Ocean, B, Texas, by the Gulf of Mexico, or C, Florida, between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean? The answer is Florida by a lot. In fact, 40% of all hurricanes that strike the United States hit Florida. That means that if five hurricanes strike the United States, Two of them will hit Florida, while the others go to different states. And do you know which state comes in second? Is it California or Texas? Why, it's Texas in second. Meanwhile, California with its super long coastline doesn't get hit at all. What? That's because hurricanes in the Pacific Ocean usually move northwest away from the United States. But where exactly do hurricanes come from? This is Chet Nickerson reporting with a special report on where do hurricanes come from. Hi, I was just getting to that. Could they be forming under your bed? No. Are hurricanes swirling in your cereal bowl? Uh... Is your mom secretly a hurricane? That makes no sense. The answer, tonight at 11. Okay, smarty pants, I'm not going to make you wait until 11 for the answer. Hurricanes and all tropical cyclones form over warm ocean waters near the equator by places such as the Caribbean, Central Africa, and Southern Asia. The warm air above these spots, mixed with water vapor, rises up, and surrounding air swoops in to take its place. Then that air warms, rises, and is replaced 
creating a cycle. The rising air cools as it moves away from the ocean. And the water vapor creates clouds. The storm grows, spinning as it feeds off of the warm water. The spin is caused by the rotation of the Earth. Did you know storms in the Northern Hemisphere spin in opposite directions from storms in the Southern Hemisphere? Amazing! Now, if there are no strong winds to break apart the storm, it grows and grows first into a tropical storm and then into a hurricane. A typical hurricane is about 300 miles wide, around the size of Wyoming. Whoa. But they can be any size. Hurricane David, in 1979, was as big as half of the United States. <gasps> Once a hurricane is formed, the big question is, where will it go? A hurricane's path is affected by a bunch of forces, including weather patterns. Meteorologists use their weather expertise and technology like satellites to determine where these forces will steer a hurricane. And these forecasts help people prepare for the storm. This is Chet Nickerson reporting live from the beach where powerful Hurricane Smarty Pants will soon make landfall. In fact, Hurricane Smarty Pants was just upgraded from a tropical storm to a Category 1 hurricane. Did you hear that? Hurricanes are categorized using something called the Saffir-Simpson Hurricane Scale. Do you know what that scale uses to determine a hurricane's power? Is it A, rain, B, wind speed, or C, size? Why, it's B, wind speed! There are five categories of hurricanes, starting with Category 1, the weakest, and going up to Category 5, with the strongest winds. That's right. But I wouldn't necessarily call a Category 1 weak. Smarty Pants, next time you're riding in a car on the highway, zooming along at 60 miles per hour, roll down your window just a little, not too far, and feel the wind. It's pretty strong, right? Well, get this. It's not as fast as the wind speed of a Category 1 hurricane. What? Category 1 winds go from 74 to 95 miles per hour. <gasps> And hurricanes only get worse from there. That's why reporters like me brave the storm in order to show you what they're like while you stay safe and dry inside. <sighs> so Chet, can you describe what Hurricane Smarty Pants would be like if it were a Category 1 storm? Certainly. Winds are picking up. I'm sure you can hear my windbreaker flapping. I might sway a little. Cha-cha-cha. Because even 80 mile an hour winds are pretty strong. Looking around, I see some roof damage and some power lines down, as well as some snapped tree branches. Now, what if Hurricane Smarty Pants became a category two with winds of 96 to 110 miles per hour? As I'm sure you can hear, my jacket is flapping like crazy, as well as some snapped tree branches. Around me, I'm seeing a fair amount of damage. Trash cans are flying by. Trees coming out of the ground. And there's substantial roof damage. Wow. Now, what if our pretend storm were Category 3, with winds of 111 to 129 miles per hour? What are you experiencing now? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Yep. That's because I'm in the middle of the storm. The sun is shining, the air is calm. I'll just sit back and enjoy a glass of lemonade. Wait, did you just say you're in the middle of the storm? Uh-huh. Hey, Smarty Pants, any idea what the middle of a hurricane is called? I'll give you a hint. It's something you find on your face. Is it your nose, your ear, your eye? Oh, that's it. It's the eye of the storm. That's right. This is the point a hurricane rotates around. And it's the one spot in a hurricane that's absolutely calm. The edge of the eye, called the eye wall, has the storm's worst winds and rains. Okay, so if we advance this storm a little bit, it's going to get rough. Yikes! There goes my lemonade! I need to hold on to something to stay on my feet. Whoa! 
Chet Nickerson down! I'm fine. It's just a few thousand people watching me wipe out on the news. I'm having trouble seeing with this wind and rain. Folks, a Category 3 storm is dangerous. There's major destruction everywhere. Down trees blocking roads. Damage to homes and water everywhere. Whoa! I've fallen again. And that's just Category 3. There's still Category 4, with winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour. And Category 5, with winds of 157 miles per hour or higher. Oh yeah, even I'm staying inside for those. All hurricanes are rough, but Categories 4 and 5 are disastrous. We're talking shattered windows. Structural damage. Trees snapped in two. Homes destroyed. Not even the pros like me go out in storms like this. The winds are horrendous, but that's not even the worst part. Hmm. Hey, smarty pants. Any guesses what the most dangerous part of a hurricane is? Think about it. The answer is coming up right after this quick break. Hey, parents and teachers. Are you signed up for our free Who Smarted newsletter? It comes out every single time we publish a new audio episode and has tons of additional information, resources, and activities to keep the learning going and keep making memories. If you're not getting the free Who Smarted emails, you're not getting the most out of Who Smarted. Sign up now at www.whosmarted.com. That's www.whosmarted.com for our free newsletter. Now back to Who Smarted. So, what part of a hurricane is even worse than the severe winds? Chet? Why? It's the flooding! When hurricanes make landfall, they push water from the oceans onto the land. That's called a storm surge. <sighs> Between the storm surges and heavy rains, floods are unavoidable. That's why people who live near water, like the beach, must leave and find safer places to stay during hurricanes. Even if you're not in a flood zone, you need to protect yourself. Remain inside a sturdy structure, like a house or building, away from any windows or doors. You don't want to take chances with any storm, even Category 1s, or storms with silly names, like Hurricane Smarty Pants. Speaking of names, you may have noticed that we give people's names to tropical storms and hurricanes. Some recent storms that hit Florida were Hurricanes Matthew, Irma, Michael, and Sally. But why? Well, imagine a busy hurricane season without them. This is Chet Nickerson reporting. I'm on the beach where a powerful hurricane is approaching, just like the storm that hit Florida in early June, but not like the one that struck in July, and definitely not like the one that just formed in the Gulf and might hit Texas next week, but kind of like the one from last September. See how confusing that is? Meteorologists name hurricanes to make them easier to identify and track. They've created six alphabetical lists of names, using one each year. Once all six lists are used, they go back to the first one. That means storm names repeat every six years, though the worst storms are removed from the list. Say Hurricane Jennifer forms this year and goes out to sea, harming nobody. Another storm could be named Hurricane Jennifer six years from now. However, if that storm strikes land and causes major damage, no other storm will ever get that name. Jennifer will be removed from the list and replaced with another J name. To see if your name is on the list, just go to the National Hurricane Center website, hurricanes.gov. But whatever it's named, never go swimming during a hurricane, even with a rubber ducky inner tube. Chet Nickerson, out! A big shout out to Maggie in Brookline, Massachusetts. We heard you love Who Smarted and then found out your cousin Max works on it and then loved it even more. Thanks for listening, Maggie. This episode, Hurricanes, was written by Dave Beaudry and voiced by Adam, Hurricane Tex Davis, and Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Maggie's cousin, Max Kamaski. The theme song is by Brian Tornado Suarez with lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This is an Atomic Entertainment production. <laughs> <laughs>